Kia ora tātou, no mai haramai, whakatou mai ki Rima te Kaumārua Wiki. Uh, welcome to 52 Weeks. This is our second uh, lesson on subject-specific reo. Um, it is uh, number nine of the resource sheets, Tua Iwa. So if you um, have your garden shed open at 52 weeks and you click through so you have that resource sheet open for you, that would be really helpful. Um, here it is here. Uh, so as usual, ko te mata tato, uh, we will start with waiata and karakia. Um, many of you will recognise this waiata, which is using the lyrics or the words from the Lord's Prayer as a waiata. Um, so we're going to listen to that now. Um, if you click on this link, then it takes you through to this page where you can see the English translation and the YouTube clip is here of it playing. And so I will play that for us now. As usual, I would just really encourage you to uh, return to that link and to practice that. Um, as you are singing the words, be thinking particularly about the language in there that you recognise, the, um, the use of the word kia, uh, the use of different pronouns, and some of the vocabulary that we are now becoming very familiar with. So, kia kaha koutou, ki te korero, ki te waiata hoki. Um, our whakatauki for today is that uh, together weaving the realisation of potential. So, again, a great one for our classrooms, a great one if you are um, working with colleagues to um, do something together or 
wanting your students to work together in groups on a particular day, this is a great whakatauki. So, mā te whiritahi ka whakatūtuki ai ngā pūmanawa a tangata. Mā te whiritahi ka whakatūtuki ai ngā pūmanawa a tangata. Uh, just in case people are wondering, the macron over the R here in Tangata, that um, makes this plural. So instead of it being um, person, Tangata, it becomes Tangata, people. Um, and we see that repeated in other words where the adding of the macron and making the R long makes it um, plural. For example, matua is um, one father or parent and matua with the long R uh, is, um, is parents. So um, in this lesson, we're going to continue with our focus on developing te reo specific to the curriculum or subject area that we are training in. So again, there's going to be some independent work, um, but we are also going to be looking at active verbal sentences and really um, learning that grammatical structure because it's one that we can use in so many different ways. So in terms of kupu ho, um, I'm going to talk about um, kupu ho, but really this is a repeat of last week. And then in the second flipped clip for um, this session, I am going to focus in on the grammar. So um, what I'm asking you to do is to continue to use the kupu ho lists in the back of each section of your marautanga. Um, remember, you have the digital link to it here, um, and that will take you through to the TKI website, and then the real version is here. Um, and as you scroll through, you will find the different kupu ho lists that are relevant to your subject area, and then the kupu list um, at the very back that is more general, which is this one that I'm displaying at the moment. So um, encouraging you to continue to gather the vocabulary that is going to be useful for you and to familiarize yourself with it. Um, and think about the ways that you can incorporate that subject specific vocabulary into the instructions and the encouragements that you are giving in your classroom. So um, we're going to pause there and I'd like you to spend some time on your subject specific vocabulary and maybe linking that into the instructions that you're giving. And then when you come back to the second flipped clip, we're going to be looking at active verbal sentences. <laughs> 